Right, so I was planning on doing a mowing video today because my grass is like silly overgrown, so is the green. Um, we've had rain for the last two days. Well, it was supposed to rain yesterday, so I didn't mow because I thought it was going to anyway. The struggles. Um, but so, last time I mowed with this mower, um, it seemed to tear the grass blades quite a bit and I adjusted it down and it just started getting too tight. So, it's in need of a grind begin to get sent away and base to be ground. Um, so that it cuts a little bit cleaner because I've used this for a whole season. I did get a bit of sand in there at one point and yeah, but I don't want to send it away, away at the moment because I'm using it so much. So I'm going to extend out the longevity of this with a back lap, which I'm going to show you guys how to do now. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a quick vid, show you guys how it works and how you can do it with most cylinder mowers. Looks like the rain's starting to come down a bit, which is good. Um, but yeah, this is a Protea, this mower that's sitting in there at the moment. Um, you can also do this with your Rover cylinder mowers, your Maz Ports, your Bush Ranger ones, your Super Swifts, which can be very similar. See, this Protea is going to be very similar to a Scott Bonner 45 and the way we're going to do this. I can even do my Greens Master like this as well. You just need to be able to make that reel spin backwards. So let's show you how it works. So let's just take off this cover here. Pretty simple step. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, no, that's it. Come on. How tight do I do this up? Oh, I didn't like that, did it? Alright, so to backlap this thing, we need to make this reel spin backwards. So as we spin this reel back, <laughs> you silly thing. Sit myself on the shin with that. Um, that spins backwards. You see the cog turns to the right. So all we need to do is get a drill bit on this part here so ideally i would recommend you take these chains off chains off so you don't don't start the mower up by accident because that can happen um and make sure you pull your spark plug out as well we're doing any sort of maintenance on it i have not done that yet so i better pull my spark plug out Ouch. So the reason I tipped it back under that crate is because if you drop it all the way back down onto the ground, oil leaks out everywhere, as I've learned from previous experiences. But yeah, let me just show you, this is not, you hear how this is, that's pretty tight. So you can hear quite a bit of contact. And let's see how it's cutting. That's honestly better than I thought it was. Um, but it is a little bit tight, so the reason why, because last time I cut, it tore the grass blades pretty bad and left a white cast look across the whole lawn. Turns to get like that with cool season grass. Um, and little spindly bits coming out the top. Um, and I'd say that's because the reel is a little bit too tight, so I've had to adjust it down just to get the cut. You should be able to do it where it's basically not contacting and you're getting a nice clean cut. You can just hear it. Just, I, don't, I don't like it. So we've got this drill here. And we just put a extension on there, then our socket. This is a 19mm socket that goes on there. Um, and basically, spin it backwards, or forwards, in this case, with the drill. And the reel will spin backwards. And then basically, you want to start applying paste. Now, if your reel isn't cutting paper all the way across, you need to adjust the reel towards the bed knife so that you're getting that clean cut. Without too much contact, like that. There's still a bit. We're going to be putting some paste on, so it's going to back off a little bit when you put that paste on anyway. Um, but yeah, you need to make sure that you wind your reel down to your blade, your bed knife. Which, on this machine here, is these little screws here. Right there. Mm. 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 So as we loosen them off, the reel starts to come down to the bed knife there. So yeah. So you'll know if it's not even by testing it with paper. So if one side's cutting paper and one side not, then you need to adjust the side down that is not cutting paper um, to get to that point. Now, this is it is quite fiddly doing that. It took me a long time on the golf course when we used to do it with green smiles, but when you do it every couple of days, because you've got to adjust your realty bed knife before every mow anyway, um, which is a massive tip if you guys got a real mow. Um, yeah, it takes a while to get used to it and make it like contact all the way across. Normally you try to bring both sides down evenly across the board, because if you do one side first and then bring the other one down, you sort of, it's just gonna be out of whack. The side you brought down first is probably gonna end up dropping lower because you brought this side down as well. Anyway, you figure it out when you fluff around with it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's give it some grinding paste now. Now I've got this stuff, which you can get on my website, 
um, called Mower Mate. This is a 120 grit, so this is going to be perfect for our residential mowers. Um, and yeah, we use that. Make sure you got yourself a paintbrush, and you basically just paste it on. So yeah, you paste it on while you've got this spinning backwards, so it's going to be a bit fiddly. Yeah, just paste it across. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, so now I'm going to wash it off and test it with paper. Because there's paste still in there, you can't tell how much it's contacting. Um, so wash it off with some water and then we'll test it with some more paper. Alright, so let's check this with some paper now. As we can hear, there's still a bit of grinding stuff in there to give another wash. But it's definitely looser. It's spinning a lot more freely. Oh my gosh. And that cut is a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. Right, so I'm not sure if you guys saw what I did there, but I backed um, the cylinder off a bit high just so I get the chains on. Um, and I brought it back down just a little bit looser. And it's cutting so clean. Listen to that. Heaps better. Right, so I had a subscriber send me this product here, which is supposed to be like an all-natural hand cleaner for like real dirty hands. Um, which obviously puts them in hands and puts them right in your hands and stuff and mix it in to get this grease off because grease doesn't come off very easily with just water as a lot of you guys would know um, so I've never tried this stuff before sorry man you sent this to me ages ago to try but I haven't got my hands dirty <laughs> um, in a very long time so yeah well, it's pretty weird looking stuff Look at that. it's like a powdery Powdery thing. Right, well, feels greasy. Pretty impressed with that. My hands are slimy now. It's always something to do within that. Mm -hmm, love it. Um, but yeah, worked pretty good. Pretty clean. I mean, it's not going to clean my dirty band aids, but not bad, man. So I'll link the dude's website. Um, obviously, I'm not getting paid to use this stuff. He just sent me something to try. It's one of my subs, but yeah. Pretty good. All right, so that is all done. Glad I got that done, especially on a rainy day. I'd love to go test that mower out now, but it's just, it's just too smushy and wet on the lawn at the moment. It'll dry by tomorrow because we're getting warm enough temps now, but now the rain's coming in again as soon as I said it's gonna potentially dry out. But I'd like to get my special mix out today because I haven't put it out for ages. I need to get some kelp on the lawn, um, some humic acid and that fulvic acid as well. I'd love to get some down today just to keep encouraging root depth on this lawn over here. Not going to worry about liquid iron or liquid fertilizer, just the soil amendments today, especially while it's a rainy day. Not a bad idea at all. Um, I'd love to get a cut on this as well, but it's just too wet. It's not smushy, it's just wet. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. As you can see, quite thick through here now, holding great color now. Um, and yeah, it was taking that five mil height to cut really well. It's just grown a bit now because of the rain. Um, and it's filled in down here as you can see only a tiny bit left to fill in which is awesome and then up the back here we've still got a bit to go but it's definitely creeping that area was quite bare the other week that's filled in heaps so it's only really those two spots there which yeah it's definitely starting to fill but anyway let's put down this special mix or half of it on the lawn here just to help out with the soil all right so again these are the products i'm applying here some seaweed secrets to help with their roots. Quantum H to help take up what's in the soil already. Um, unlock some nutrients that are locked up in there. And that's great. If you're seeding your lawn, great to help establish it a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, it's just, it's an awesome product. Um, and then my stimulizer, which is my fulvic acid, which is more of a foliar feed 
um, that works similar to your humic acid, but we're gonna put it down with it anyway. Um, now, normally I put liquid iron with this, or I'd rotate it with some Activate Mate. Depends on what you'd like to do. Um, the reason I'm not putting them down today is because we've got potential rain, which would wash it off the foliage, and then you wouldn't get as good results. Now, technically, because of the fulvic acid, the liquid iron should um, take up within 20 minutes, but I just like to do it um, that way, and I don't really need some liquid iron at the moment because the lawn is pretty green. Um, but I'll link another video down in the description of me explaining my special mix, how to apply it, when you water it in, how much to put in, all the rates and everything. Um, it's in another video, so I'll make sure I'll link it down below for you guys. But let's mix this up and put it out. Right, well that is all done. Thanks guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Sorry there wasn't too much going on in the video. I hope you learned something about backlapping real miles. I've actually got an old video as well where I do that and I've got a real mile basics video as well. So I'll make sure to link those videos down in the description for you guys if you haven't seen them already. But yeah, mate, lawn's starting to grow like crazy. So I need to get some plant growth regular out of it soon. Um, and just get on top of the mowing because every five, six days just is not enough at the moment. Now I need to do it two to three times a week. So I need to get that plant growth regulated down. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And you have a good week.